I had a pipe. People ask me why I don't use Hilti tools or why I haven't in my videos. Well, there's probably a few reasons why I haven't used Hilti tools in my videos. Um, number one, I don't have any. Uh, number two, generally speaking, they're much more commercial grade. See, during my apprenticeship, I did a lot of commercial work, a lot of steel, concrete, and we used Hilti guns, for example, to nail into steel and concrete. And in residential, it's very rare that you need a tool that looks like this. Now before we get into exactly what we're doing here, let's set this thing up. Alright, the TE800 AVR. This thing's got some weight to it. So when I asked the guy at Hilti if I could borrow one of these, um, I also asked about the vacuum attachments. That felt convincing. And now we place the giant chisel in the machine. Oh. Look at this thing. It's huge. I think we're set up. So this floor here is very wonky and they've put this timber wedge there to account for the the rise it's higher on this side and it falls down there and you can see here that it's a extra layer of concrete that they've added on so although we're not going for the greatest bathroom in world history whatever we do won't look good if that floor looks like that Let's try this crazy looking bit here. I'll tell you one thing, that is a lot more fun to use than the hammer drill that I currently have. And that's the size of the screed. To be fair to my small hammer drill, that was probably enough to do this. It's a tiny amount. And in parts it came out really easily. I've still got to do a difficult part here. I can already tell that it's a bit more difficult. But I want to clear my feet first and get my mask back on. This is just regular water, and I'm using that as dust suppression. So the idea is that it just catches the loose, dry dust in the air, and uh, turns it into slush, essentially. This is something that we did in the Edinburgh Flats when I was working in Scotland. Uh, we all had to have one of these next to us as we were working. And spray down all the dust. It's pretty effective. Tell you what, my verdict so far is it's very refreshing having a tool that does all the work for you. I feel like I'm just turning it on and going along for the ride. It's easy to forget that though, like I feel the urge to like push it, but I mean that's how you hurt yourself, right? It's a big tool. You just gotta get in a good position, bend your knees, and let the drill do the work. Um, a lot of that screed was quite easy to come up, it separated quite easily. 
and I can only assume water got between it maybe, or it just never bonded properly in the first place. Uh, but this corner here, where I think a washing machine was sitting, that corner is a lot more stubborn. So I think a renovation is made up of milestones and removing this concrete is certainly one of my milestones that I had. Pretty much cleared it all off. There's this part here that I need to do. And that part involves removing this frame here. And I've got some electrical that needs to be removed first so I'm not going to completely take it away but let's take this out. I had a pipe. So I was chiseling around this to see if I could free it because we need to replace it. And lo and behold, there's another pipe down here. Yeah, I, I bloody hit it. All the units in this area are connected to the same water main. So if I turn off the water main, I turn off all the water for all the apartments. Time to call the plumber. Okay, water's off. There you have it, a chisel shaped hole in the pipe. So the neighbors are sharing the water so this can't last forever. Hopefully I can get a hold of the plumber. I'm chiseling out concrete in that bathroom and I've, I've heard a pipe. Awesome. Oh, that was quick. Plumber's already here. Now we're going to have to practice social distancing on the job site. Thank you, mate. <laughs> Forgot to put my red light on. <laughs> Emergency. My blue light. <laughs> Voter thinks it's a pretty manageable repair, thankfully. Man, it was like literally that much under the concrete and I had no idea it was there. Found out the hard way. So basically he just has to cut it off. We were actually gonna cut it off anyway and update the water supply. So he just has to cap it off and then no worries. I think, no worries. Should really learn a bit of plumbing, shouldn't I? <laughs> Hasta la vista. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Hold it back. <laughs> you probably will. You probably will. See you, man. See ya. Alright, so what do I think of the uh, Hilti vacuum thingy? After all that, um, it's really good. I really like it. It's, uh, it, remind, it reminds me that the reason I don't like doing concrete work isn't necessarily to do with the work. It's the tools that I currently use when I do that work. So trying to use my little Makita battery breaker for things like this is a nightmare. We did it at my friend's house where we did that kitchen. I had to make a little chase in it and the mess it made and how difficult it was was, uh, yeah, I, I end up dreading jobs like that when really I should just have the proper tools for the job and then it's not a problem. Photo cap that pipe off. Let's have a look at it, shall we? So we broke out a bit more concrete and he capped it off there. So uh, we're looking at maybe next week where he'll come back. But I've got a lot of framing to do before then. So stay tuned for that.